good evening friends i hope you are all doing well i am also fine today i am going to show you how you can install mysql server on a debian based uh, linux machine right so let's get started i am in my google cloud i am going to use google cloud for launching a new instance but you can use uh, your own uh, cloud provider like aws or azure and then just choose the debian uh, as as the image for uh, launching the instance right okay so let's get started i'm going to go to uh, compute engines here then i will start a new instance here you can choose everything as is default just only thing that you need to remember to change is the boot type so here um, you can use Debian 12 if you want. If you want to switch to a different version, then just choose from this dropdown. I'm going to use Debian 12, and then here the boot type should be like standard persistent disk. Select allow HTTP HTTPS, even though it's not needed, but you can just allow it. Okay. So it will uh, launch a new instance. Let's wait. Meanwhile, uh, I'm going to go to the dev.mysql.com and then here the search option you can search with apt then you will get uh, the results of uh, what are the apts the first one is the uh, downloadable link so this will open this screen. just click on the second link in the new tab this gives you instructions so what we have to do first thing we have to do is that we need to download this dev file from this link and then we need to install this, run this command to install this, uh, install this file. Once this is installed, then we will run apt update to update our uh, apt repositories. And after that, we can run this command. But if you directly run this command, this will not work because at this moment, this, this is not available in your repository. So you need to add that via running this command. Okay, so first I'm going to go to the Here's, here is also the link event. Like here, if you click open, new tab, it will open the same, same menu here. What you can do is like click on the download button here and uh, just click, copy the link address, right? This is the downloadable link, that's it. If you just hover over here, then it shows the dev file. So let's go to the instance. It is using the browser-based console to connect to that instance. That's quite easy to use. Yeah, it's taking some time to authorization. I'm going to give authorization to my Google account. Okay, so here it is. Let's make this very bigger, right? So what we're going to do is like download the dev file, right? So the comment is wget, then paste the file. This is the file, get mysql.com, get mysql apt config, and then 0.8.9-1 slash all.dev. We have downloaded that, right? So the next part is, uh, this is the next part, to so do dpkg-i, and then the file name. So dpkg-i then, my name is MySQL. Press OK. That's good. Okay. So the APT uh, config file is updated. Now I'm going to run sudo apt update. This will update my local repositories with a new MySQL one. Okay. Then, once this is done, then we can run it. Uh, so, we have to install MySQL server, right? So, that's the one that we are interested in. Let's check this. That's not something I want. Just remove the power sign. So, the command is sudo apt get install MySQL server, right? Let's run it. So, what are, what are we installing? This is the confirmation. So, we are installing MySQL client. 
community client MySQL core. So looks good. Yes. So they are asking for setting up a root password. So I'm going to do set the root password is uh, very simple one. Very simple one. Okay, that's good. So it is, it is installing the MySQL server on my Debian machine. I set up a root password here, and then uh, this is installing MySQL server, I think 8.0.36, probably that is the latest version so far. Okay, that's good. Now let's see the status. So, sudo system well, status. So the MySQL is running. Now let's enable it. CTL enable MySQL, right? We want to enable it. That means when the server reboots, my MySQL server should automatically start, right? Otherwise, I have to manually start this. Then let's uh, try to connect the server. So MySQL dash root, and then P is right. That's it. I was able to connect to the server. So let's see how many databases are there. Show databases. So we have MySQL performance is going from Let's create a database. Okay. Schema. Schema. I want to use the schema created. Use Arctic. That should switch the database to Ati. If I now run the queries, it should be running on the Ati queries. Show tables. There is no table. So create table. Ati int. That is probably there is an underscore I start here maybe. So I have to give a name of the table, right? Sorry, sorry, sorry. Uh, I should be like users. Still wrong. Creatable users, primary key. Okay. Hmm, that's good. Okay. So I created table, creatable users. I what happens is that you, you create tables using manually GUI interface. So Sometimes you forget the raw query. Sorry about that. So I created the tables. Now let's uh, show tables. Now insert some data. Insert users. Values, right? This is the value. ID one. And I think that's. And I'll insert another one. So select from users. That's it. So we have two users, and we can now run all these things. So that's done. Now I think uh, one more thing I have to do is like SQL installation. SQL search here. <laughs> the installation is done. Uh, CQ. 
there is something we have to run for secret installation. Yeah, MySQL secret installation. Improve MySQL. Let's go here. So, uh, we can run it, MySQL secret installation. I'm going to give the crew password. Why? So, highlighted password component can be used to test passwords and improve security. That's optional. Um, this why for yes. I don't want to use this plugin. Like Sometimes it causes problems. So I don't want. No, I don't want to change the root password. That's fine. You know, anonymous users? Yes. I want to remove anonymous users. Disable root login. Yes. I want to disable root login remotely. So only people from this machine can log in as a root. Remove test database and access to it. Yes, I want to remove test databases. Reload privileges tables. Yes. All done. That's it. Now system CTL. Start MySQL. Oh, sorry. I have to press sudo. Sudo. So that's it. This is the tutorial. Using this process, I think you can run it on an Ubuntu as well. So I'm going to test with uh, Ubuntu versions. And this is Debian. Debian, Debian uh, you can try it on Ubuntu as well. It will run in Ubuntu as well. Definitely. So that's it for today. Uh, I've shown you how to uh, install MySQL in a Debian 12 based uh, machines, but you can use it on the Ubuntu 22 as well. Thank you. If you like this video, please uh, subscribe to the channel and share it with your friends. Thank you.